dear students we'll go for the next phylum ask helminthes we are calling as these nematia helminthes these also called as commonly round worms here these uh, general characters of uh, ask helminthes this undergoes the argon system of organization in this examples ascar is lumbricoids it's called as a round worm it's look like a round and here see these a male worm and female worm how these differentiate here there male worm that the posterior part which is hooked part is there which is a highly curved whereas the female part is the not curved that uh, posterior and and moreover the that uh, female is larger than the male we can see in the picture and here these general characters it shows the bilateral symmetry and here see here loyo loyo it's called as a eye worm which is present in our eye and filarial worm also undergoes this ask helminthes which causes the elephantiasis and here germ layers which undergoes the triploblastic organism like a platy helminthes which have a three germ layers which are the ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm this picture it's the entrobiasis vermicularis which called the pin worm the picture entrobiasis vermicularis and silo these are uh, pseudo silomates which means false serum whereas the platy helminthes are the acylomates no serum there but in the oscar helminthes these are the acylomates means there is no true silom that cavity which is filled with the mesoglial cells that's the reason it's a pseudo silomate and these animals aquatic and as well as a terrestrial some are free swimming so some are the parasitic in plants and animals here they have given as a ketonochoas this is a aquatic free living organism and oscaris which is in the human intestine in this free swimming forms also they are and digestive system which is a complete system it has a both and anus like a flatty helminthes and tubular gut which well developed it have a muscular pharynx here is the mouth and here as a muscular pharynx and intestine all the things are there and reproductive system also developed in this phyla and moreover respiratory system is absent in these animals and circulatory system also there is no specialized circulatory system cannot see in these animals and here these are the dioecious organisms it means male and female animals are differentiated sexes are separate and uh, reproduction undergoes a sexual reproduction fertilization is internal and development is direct some animals have indirect means larval forms also present in this phylum and here what are the unique features of this ask helminthes body is circular in cross section that's a called as the round worms that uh, epidermis is a syncytial in nature which is a multi nucleated okay it is covered by the thick cuticle like present here and moreover the excretory tubes to remove the body waste through the excretory pore small pore will be there it will be removed that and here it shows external dimorphism means by differentiate the male and female by using some characters we call as a sexual dimorphism you can see in this the female are longer than usually males and the male that uh, posterior part should be curved and here oscar is male and female here there hook worm and he see filarial worm how it causes the ucaria bancafti which causes the filaria and ankylostoma duodenal is there and oscar is lumbricoids also there and this is a complete idea of ask helminthes i hope you understood thank you